going for Ray in every comic that you've seen tonight, man. Man. There's a stool here, so I'm going to use it because I'm lazy. Yeah. Yeah. No, here's the thing. I'm really lazy, and, and I'll tell you this much. When I was, you know, when you're a kid, you always have that dream, right, of being like a rock and roll star, being up on stage. I thought about that one too, but I was like, you know what? I want to be the drummer because the drummer gets to sit down for the show. <laughs> That's how lazy I am. <laughs> but then I realized that to be the drummer, you need fucking talent. <laughs> so my dreams were uh, tapered. I then wanted to be a rock and roll spectator. So I now go to shows. That's yeah. all I do. Woo! No, I'll stand up, I'll stand up. Um, I know I'm wearing the, the Batman sweater. Uh, my, thank you, thank you. My, my, my grandma knitted it, so... She was like, mijo, mijo, wear this tonight. Actually, my grandma's dead. It was just the, the crazy lady next door. She just always, mijo, wear this sweater. Okay, thanks. It's great living next to you, Doris. Anyway, um, but no, you know what the thing is, is like, I've realized though that I'm like the complete opposite of Batman because like, Batman's parents were killed, right? Then he was left a ton of money and he fights crime. My parents are still alive, I'm broke as fuck, and I commit crimes. <laughs> <laughs> so I am the complete opposite of Batman. Anyway, um, as you can tell by my, uh, by my sweater, I am single. <laughs> So if there's any ladies out there, let's, let's talk Don't after worry. the show. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, Oscar, uh, who uh, went up earlier, was talking about gangs. And I'm, and I'm glad that you did these jokes because it, it, it paved the way for me because now I know that this is not a gang-banging crowd. <laughs> no one shot Oscar, so I was like, I can go ahead and tell these jokes. No, because the thing is, like, I grew up in a uh, little village, like, by 26th yeah. and Pulaski. Who's familiar with Little Village? Yeah. You guys been to Little Village, all right. You guys survived it, I'm gonna get you shirts. I survived Little Village. <laughs> Others know it from the news, it's okay. But no, as I, as I look around the room, like I said, you guys are not a gang-banging crowd. So, like, my, like, neighborhood gang was the 2-6, right? Yeah. 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 All right. The, the, yeah, right. The, Tinley Park loves the two six. Noted. I'm gonna go back to the neighborhood and tell them they love you guys in Tinley Park. Go out there. No, the thing is, like I've mentioned this in front of like other, like you know, different parts of the city. And when I said two six, I started getting like booed and hissed and stuff, and people were throwing shit and shooting at me. And and I was like, guys, 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 relax. I am not, and I repeat, I am not here to recruit for the two six. It's not like I'm like, uh, you guys happy with your current gang? If not, I've got a PowerPoint presentation for you right now. The two six, we're going places. Jail and jail. That's, that's about it. No, the one thing I didn't get about the gangbangers in my neighborhood was that, like, they all drove, like, old police cars that they got at auctions. They all drove, like, Caprices and, you know, Ford Victorias. And I never fucking got that, because it was like, were they arrested one time and they were like, this is a smooth ride, man. When I get out of here, I am buying one of these. When we went over that speed bump, I didn't feel it. Did you? So anyway, so next weekend is uh, March 14th, 314. Who knows what uh, 314, what, what happens Pi! to 314? Pi! All right, Pi Day. Pi Day is one of them. Who knows the second one? Steak and BJ Day. Yes, that is correct. It is Steak and BJ Day. That's blowjob for the, you slow people. No, here's the thing. Uh, the way that works is like this. Um, Valentine's Day is 214. That's for the ladies, right? So a month later on 314 is supposed to be for the guys. I got a text message from a friend of mine last year, and she goes, hey, it's Steak and Blowjob Day, and I was like, that's awesome, are you, like, texting me to help me celebrate? And she goes, no, I'm just informing you. <laughs> and I was like, that's mean. Do you also let orphans know when it's Mother's Day? Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> anyway, uh, before
before I leave you guys, one last thing. Be honest here. Who uh, who's, who does the sexting? Sexting. Thank you for being honest. The rest of you are all liars. But uh, no, uh, this this uh, 23 year old girl, right? She started like sending me like dirty pictures, like different parts of her body. Right. Better than 17. And, and after a while, you know, yeah, you got to make sure they're legal. Uh, but after a while, she was like, now you send me something back. And I did something, guys, that I, I think I'm going to regret. I, uh, I sent her a picture of my junk, but I put my driver's license next to it. I know, I know, I know. I had to prove that it was me. Because I didn't want her to think that I had like a random dick pic collection on my phone. Like here it is next to a box of Lucky Charms just in time for St. Patrick's Day. But the thing that I noticed, guys, is uh, when did uh, driver's licenses get so big? It was my... Was my driver's license the only one issued on like a sixth grade science fair poster board that said, how does oxygen work? <laughs> all right, guys, that is my time. Thank you all so much. Let's bring back Ray. Give yourselves a round of applause for making it to the end.